Hi guys, this is Todd Fool and for today, we're going to review the Ares Audio R2R DAC from DROP. This will be a quick intro since I really don't have any clue who Ares Audio is, except that this R2R DAC came up sometime 2018 in Mass Drop and reviews said it was a true R2R DAC that sounded fantastic. I didn't get it at the time since I already had the Iggy and DAC should only be a concern after getting your amp, speakers, and room treatment preferably. But fast forward a couple of months ago and curiosity got the better of me. So enough jabbering about nothing and let's get it on. But before that, let's take a closer look. It's a fairly simple black case with a button for power, another button to change inputs. If you're a fan of drop audio stuff, then this should blend well as this has the same form factor as the others. The buttons are a little bit flimsy though and I would have preferred the three-way switch or maybe just a button with a lot less travel. Some holes at the front top but this only gets a little bit warm and you probably won't even feel it during colder days. At the back is a pair of RCA outs and inputs for optical, coax, and USB. Power supply is a 5.3 volt 3 amp wall wart and also includes a USB cable. Oh, and I like the box. It actually feels more expensive than the DAC. Let me just get the Modi 3 out of the way, which, against a product 3 times the price, can't really keep up for all my test tracks. In general, the Ares Audio has a wider soundstage and just feels cleaner and more refined, and dare I say it, it has more air. The bass may be more forceful in the Modi, but it has less textures and doesn't sound as tight. Also, the bass in the Airs Audios feels more in rhythm for me and sounds more natural. Vocals are more sibilant and slightly shoutier and leaner in the Modi, while the Airs Audio belts out effortless voices. Against the shit Modi multi bit, I also preferred the Airs Audio r DAC in all my test tracks. And although it wasn't as terribly far away, the differences were still there and is generally better than the Mimbi. In terms of bass, the Mimbi is a bit raw and loud, while the Ares Audio has less SPL. It does clean up the bass quite well in comparison and sounds more satisfying, especially if textures are what you're after. For the most part, the mid-range in the Mimbi is richer. Ares Audio on the other hand isn't as rich but it's more agile and has a bit more detail. For female vocals, they sound mostly similar but male vocals are a bit leaner and crispier while the Mimbi provides a slightly thicker and fuller tone. The Mimbi also provides a bit more sparkle as the Ares Audio sounds rolled off earlier but they are more balanced across the range and sounds more engaging. Instruments are more formed in comparison and more separated and more defined. The Ares Audio also sounds grander and has a taller, wider soundstage, although there are songs where I felt that there was a bit more depth in the Mimbi. The Ares Audio also sounds clearer and feels blacker. So all in all, it does quite well against the Mimbi, although some test tracks got it quite close, it could go either way. So I get it if some people would prefer the warmer, bassier, sparkly sound of the Mimbi. The extra $100 you pay for goes into a little bit more refinement, a little bit more neutrality, and a little bit more details. And for me, that extra cost is worth it, especially if you don't plan on upgrading the next couple of months, considering that the next significant upgrade would be a shit Gumby or something in the $1,000 price range. What I like the most about the Ares Audio R2R DAC is the sound quality. It's a true resistor to resistor ladder type DAC, which not only sounds different from your typical Delta Sigma DAC, which is arguably the most important thing for me, but it also sounds more natural and a lot less digital. It has a nice clean sound which lets all the details through, and it has a and it has lots of textures across the response range, bass, mids, highs. And it will only be clobbered by DACs in the $1,000 price range, so there's very good value in that one. What I don't like about the Ares Audio Art or DAC is the bass could be a little bit louder. 
Although this was in direct comparison with the uh, Modi Motibit, and I certainly did not notice it when I was just initially testing it out. Another thing I don't like is that while the sound stage is tall and wide, it lacks depth. And I was quite surprised that the Modi Motibit had a better sense of perception. And finally, I don't like the flimsy input buttons. It's not very inspiring and thank god it sounds good. What I hate about the Ares Audio Arter TEC is that who the heck is Ares Audio? They don't really have a name if that matters to you. And what's worse, if you go to their website and you click on the About Us link, it gives you an internal server error. So it doesn't really bode well. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to go for warranty, but you could probably go after drop for that one. So it's a good value DAC with a good sound and a good price. So I've been audio fooled. Nice DAC made by Dahoo! Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, just write them now below. See you in the next video.